Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to download and install pre-existing Puppet modules which is available in internet to deploy some services or applications using Puppet automation. So this will help you to understand how to use these pre-existing Puppet modules which doesn't require any programming skills to write codes. Straight away, you can download these modules and install it and deploy at the client agents. This is a continuation of our previous Puppet tutorials. In the previous videos, we have explained to you from the basics about what is Puppet, how Puppet works, how to install Puppet Master and Puppet Agents and explained about Puppet Manifest and Puppet Modules from the basic level. Links related to this session are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this much better. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more about something else, please leave your comments and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. And you are watching LanetiGuide.net Tutorials. For this demo, I am going to show you an example how to deploy a package called VIM or WGET on all our Puppet agent nodes using Puppet pre-existing modules. This can be done in two ways. One is downloading the Puppet modules manually from the Forge websites where you have internet connection on your PC or laptop and copy that into your Puppet master server and deploy it on server. The second method is to use the Puppet module tool which is available at the Puppet Master Server to download and install these modules when you have internet connection on your Puppet Master Server. This is online mode and the previous one is offline mode. I will show you these two methods now. Let's go with the first mode that is offline mode. You have to go to the PC or laptop where you have internet connection. Go to google.com and type Puppet Labs Forge and this is your site, official site forge.puppet.com. Go to this link. This is their official website. Here at the search box, enter the Puppet module name you are looking for. And here there are 4000 plus modules are available. So you don't need to write any Puppet modules. Just search the module name what you are looking for. I just type VIM. Once you enter, you will get more relevant matching modules. So click the appropriate one as you preferred. Here you have all the information who is the author and the description of the packages, description of the modules. So dope VAM. This module install and configure the VAM package and this one is to manage VAM via Puppet. So here you could see all the relevant matches for your search. Alright. So as I told you before, I am going to show you how to install and configure the VM packages. So I am going to use this VM module. So just click this one. And here you could get all the information. So please read carefully about the description and dependencies and how to use this Puppet module tool to install this online mode. If not, you have to download this tarball and copy it your Puppet master server and deploy it. I am going to show you both. One is by downloading it on my laptop and I will copy this into Puppet master server and I will install it. This is offline mode and this is online mode. I will show you both. Now these are the instructions. Okay, how to install it. So please read it carefully. Okay, so download this. Once it is downloaded, just copy this file into your Puppet Master Server. So already I have copied my file that is example 42 is the other and the package version it is this. Okay, now I am going to show you how to install this. The command to install this downloaded module is Puppet Module Install and the path where you have saved. And while installing this, if you get any errors related dependencies, you can use the flag called ignore dependencies. But this is not recommended. I just skip this flag now. I am going to enter this. 
so this is just giving me a warning that already I have a version of 1.4.1 and I am going to install now that is 2.0.15 just no issue just overwrite it if you are installing this as a fresh machine then you don't get this error alright it has been installed so how do I ensure the module has been installed or not so the command is module list this will give you the list of packages or been installed on my puppet master server and here there is a dependency missing for this that is for 42 VM it requires a module called example 42 puppy okay so you have to download this and install it if not the VM package will not work properly so how do I download again go to this website and search the package over here and it will give you the list of it just click this puppy again download this once downloaded copy this into your puppet master these are offline mode that's what we are getting this kind of dependency errors but if you do this kind of installation online mode then you don't get this error automatically it will install all the dependencies right so again to install this dependency module again you have to give here you have to give this one okay so again the dependency modules are also installed so let me again confirm using this list command now the VM and its dependency have been installed okay now I'm going to show you how to deploy these modules at the client end so in the previous videos we have shown you how to edit the puppet manifest file the same way we are going to do now just go to your manifest folder and here you could see a file called site.pp here already I have made the entry within the node declaration node default within the brace I have mentioned I have called the module called VAM using the class declaration class within the brace I have called that module name so this is how you have to call that module name okay and in the website itself they have shown you how to install how to use this class just copy that and paste here it will install the package on your puppet agent client nodes and I have shown you what is this and how to use this syntax in the previous videos please refer to that here I have given the default statement which means all the puppet agent clients which are connected to puppet master all the clients will get deployed this VAM package if you wanted to do install this module only on the particular specific node then just replace this default to the node name okay just replace this default with your host name for example client one dot domain dot com just replace this so I have done now go to your client node and check whether it is it has been installed or not we'll verify it so by default all the clients will go and check the server for any configuration changes for the interval of 30 minutes if you want to change that 30 minutes you just edit the configuration file with 15 minutes or 10 minutes and I have shown you everything in the previous video if you wanted to manually give a request to the server because we cannot wait till 30 minutes so to manually override this interval the command is puppet agent hyphen test which means this will give the request now instead of 30 minutes waiting it will give the request to the puppet master and it will fetch the information it started fetching all the details and it will deploy the VAM package at this client node so the package has been installed so let's verify the package installed or not yes the package is installed so so this is how we install by downloading the models manually using the forge website now I'm going to show you how to install an online mode if you have internet connection on your puppet master server so installing these modules online it's quite easy only condition is you should have the internet connection rest all the same 
initially we have used this command along with the package names right so this is to install manually but again if you want to install the package name instead of the path straight away give the package the module name straight away use the module name if you are aware of it but how do we know the package the module name so the command is module search i will show you to install nano editor okay so puppet module search nano this will give you the list of modules available from the forge website okay forge website these are the related information i have got it so here if you see the description this will install the nano so i want this one i'm going to install this one just copy this and module install this one quite easy this is online mode you should have internet connection on your puppet master simple just enter it okay it has been installed again i am going to check to ensure the nano is installed or not yes it is been installed and i don't have any issue correct so now i am going to call this modules using my manifest file to deploy it on all other agent nodes so again open this site.pp here you have to change this to nano so this is my declaration now go to your agent node and check by default you have a nano or not so i don't have a nano right now okay i don't have any packages installed before so instead of waiting 30 minutes of interval i just overwrite to give a new request for any configuration changes it has got some configuration changes so and it has been installed so now again run this yes the package of nano been installed using the puppet modules so this is how we install the puppet modules pre existing puppet modules which is available in the internet and i have shown you both the modes offline and online mode to install a module for any services related to apache web server or nfs or samba the same procedure you need to go and search in the forge website or use the puppet native tool okay find the modules and install it and call the classes this is quite easy you don't need to write any puppet modules okay so hope you have got an idea how to use this pre existing puppet modules if you find this video is helpful please do appreciate our effort and hit like button and share it with your friends about tutorials and thanks for watching the video of lanetigate.net tutorials stay connected with us on social networking sites